Uh, police were summoned to the house right behind us at 10.01 p.m. last night. Um, by 10.10 p.m. after they arrived with EMS personnel, the uh, 50-year-old uh, victim was pronounced dead on the scene right behind us as we're speaking. There was, uh, it's a little bit of an unusual house. There's, uh, there's people that live within the house and on the property and vehicles around it. So there's 10 or 12 uh, witnesses, potential witnesses. Police are investigating as we speak, interviewing people that were present. Some saw some stuff, some didn't. Um, the victim looked like he had some sustained some uh, recent trauma. So we're trying to determine if that's a cause or at least a contributing factor to his death. Of course, we're, we're working closely with the ME's office right now as we speak. We have detectives up, up there right now. Uh, there's, we're, we're interviewing um, persons of interest as we speak right now. Uh, they were interviewed last night, and they're being re-interviewed right now. They are cooperating at this point with the police. Is this a known uh, house to have some uh, issues or an area that the police are, are known to frequent? And we, we come up here, uh, you know, from time to time on a variety of different uh, different calls, so it's not, it's not uh, unknown to us at all. We're uh, familiar with it for a lot of different reasons. How many people live on the property? To the best of our knowledge right now, we think there's 12 people living here, and not all of them live inside. Some live outside uh, in vehicles and tents, such as that. Do we know, the, the, was it, was it uh, the owner, or was it just uh, somebody that was living no, here? No, this, this is a rental property. Uh, the, the, the victim uh, lives here, as does his sister, and then a couple of his other friends as well. Yes, the, uh, we're waiting for results from the ME so we can determine the cause of death. And identity at some point? Well, we, we have his identity. We're gonna, once we notify his next of kin, we will release his name. We received a 911 call from a resident in here of an unconscious male in front, on, the, on the front ramps of the property, which is where he was located when the police arrived moments later. On the front lawn of the property? On the front ramp. Any word uh, on maybe if, uh, how long that person has been there, how long he has been there? Or? That's, uh, that's one of the things that we're actually trying to determine. That's, uh, we're getting contrasting information on that. It was uh, anywhere from you know, an hour or two or multiple hours. So we're trying to go over that. Conflicting reports. There was, a, some type of, there was a, definitely a confrontation when exactly what it was. Some people are having you know, difficulty with the memory and some are contradicting each other. So we're trying to work through all that right now as we speak. We're all we're trying to determine all that right now. Uh, Ten oh one p.m. last night. But can you say if, if whatever happened happened inside or outside? It looks right now. That's one of the things we're trying to determine. It certainly happened uh, within the property. That's what we're trying to learn as we can as we develop more information, uh, whether it was inside or out or both. Search warrants are being executed as we speak, and interviews with the parties. Some are being re-interviewed. How difficult is, is it to have that many people with contradictory, uh, contradicting stories and so forth for, for police as far as the investigation? Oh. You know, it's it's a little bit troublesome, but actually at times it uh, it can, in the long term, you know, benefit an investigation as long as you're patient and and when you interview somebody, then maybe re-interview them and after you've spoken to someone else who was there too and then maybe it uh it clarifies things for them and helps your investigation as well that's correct now, is there anything else you can share with about the uh, we're uh we have we have his identity we're just waiting to, we want to notify his next of kin then we'll, we will release his name Yes, it's uh, Michael DeVito, uh, D-E-V-I-T-O, and I'm the PIO with the Milford Police Department. Yes. So just, um, for, you know, going forward, you're certainly welcome to stay, but I will, uh, when I get back, when I get any information, I will probably either post it up on social media or, you know, have another press release. But right now we're really waiting. We're not going to release information from each and every uh, inve interview. 
but we certainly, when we get information with the ME coupled with our investigation, that'll probably be the most revealing uh, information to come out in the next couple hours. Okay. Thank you. Yep, thank you.